Since the introduction of the regulation to control import and manufacture of biodegradable plastic shopping bags in 2014, up to 460,000 kg of PSBs have been imported. This figure is based on annual return permit holders data submitted to Conservation and Environment Protection Authority. Concerned groups and individuals have started cleaning up waste, mostly plastics that's become an eyesore and health risk on the environment. This included Port Mosby Nature Park and volunteers who joined in on the worldwide trash tag initiative to clean up public spaces and surrounding areas, starting with the second trash tag challenge cleanup this morning at Ella Beach. I think the thing to remember is that when you throw something away, it doesn't disappear. It actually still exists somewhere. And just because you can't see it or it's no longer your problem, um, it still exists and it's causing um, you know, a massive problem for the environment. So if you can find ways to reduce the amount of plastic that you need in the first place. So rather than use plastic shopping bags from the supermarkets or the shops, um, bring your own bags, bring your own billum, you can purchase reusable shopping bags or um, the big sort of white rice, rice bags, they're all perfect for shopping. Think about ways that you can reduce the amount of plastic that you use in the first place. Um, but then also once you have finished with something, take a bit of responsibility and find a suitable location to put it in, whether you take it home for your own um, you know, rubbish collection or you find, if you're in public, find a, a bin. Um, but yeah, just to try and take a little bit of responsibility. And if every single person takes that little bit of responsibility, days like this won't need to happen. And with the challenge aiming also to help teach people about better waste management in their communities, the turnout at the beach cleanup this morning was overwhelming. A lot of volunteers are here, probably 200. We were not expecting that many, but it's, it's a good surprise to have. And we're really happy for all the schools and businesses that came down. It's been a very busy um, one and a half hours. A lot has happened. The place is looking a lot cleaner. And currently our team is still sorting through the trash. An environment enthusiast who volunteered and took part in the challenge described what she saw while cleaning up at the beach. The pile up of the rubbish, it's like the everything is just all piled up with the seaweed and everything and it's um, like as you dig through the rubbish and the stuff like the um, the smell and the stench that comes from it, it's, it's really, it's kind of, it gets irritating a bit yeah for some people but and you find all kinds of stuff, all sorts of rubbish, household items and um, all this, may, most of them plastic bags and, and a number of um, baby diapers. They're like the, the most common rubbish that get picked up along the beach itself. Yeah. The Trash Tag team is encouraging all city residents to make it their responsibility to help in keeping the communities and public spaces clean for themselves and their families to enjoy. Anit Cora. National MTV News.